Streams of refugees continue to pour into Europe. In Serbia on Monday, crowds of migrants crossed over from Macedonia to register their arrival before continuing their arduous journey towards Western Europe. Ferhan, a Syrian refugee from Damascus, said he'd been waiting hours to register. Yeah, the problem is like all the people trying to push him to get the paper to continue their way to Croatia. This is it. Yeah, and there, of course, there is no system here. So the people, it's hard for them to listen to each other. And uh, yeah, as you see, like with all the police and the army, and uh, they can't control it. After registering new arrivals, Serbia buses migrants from the town towards its border with Croatia. But the centre is overcrowded and chaotic, with several thousand people arriving every day. Around uh, 2,500, up to 3,000 maybe more are coming uh, every day, at least in the past few days. Um, and uh, they have to register and go. Uh, the queue is very long. Uh, and uh, the conditions also are very, uh, very hard, especially for families to wait uh, for long periods for their turn. Over 170,000 migrants have passed through Serbia on their way towards Western Europe this summer. Most are escaping civil war and poverty in search of sanctuary and a more stable future. But the European Union is deeply divided over the crisis. Germany is expecting an influx of some 800,000 people this year, but Eastern European countries in particular have balked at expanding a mandatory refugee burden-sharing plan recently agreed in Brussels. Experts say the refugee quota plans have already proved woefully inadequate and warn the crisis could last for years, or at least until the Syrian civil war is ended.